Hey guys, Chris Holka here with some exciting news from Dylan Music. At this year's 2018 Army Band Tuba Euphonium Conference in Washington, D.C., Dylan Music will be releasing three new tuba mouthpiece models. And the first one that I'm probably the most excited about is a collaboration between Boston Symphony tuba player Mike Roylance and myself, and it is the Roylance CB1 model mouthpiece. CB1 indicates that it's the contrabass model number one in the Roy Lance line. This mouthpiece features Mike's combination of preferred rim shape and profile, cup and throat and backboard dimensions. In the uh, Dylan Tuba or Dylan Music Tuba mouthpiece blank that I designed a couple of years ago. This combination really works well together. It's a, it's a medium weight uh, blank. That's, it, it's in that sweet spot. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's just right. And Mike has been looking for a number of years to design a mouthpiece that he feels is just an all around great mouthpiece for playing on contrabass tubas in the orchestra, warming up, basic, you know, fundamental playing, uh, large ensembles, small ensembles, you name it. This is Mike's idea of the one size fits all contrabass mouthpiece. Uh, so check it out at the Army Show, the Roylance CB1. And also stay tuned for uh, in, in the next probably six months to a year, a Roylance B1, which will be a bass tuba mouthpiece. Mike's got a design in mind that he is, he thinks is gonna, is gonna be a home run for specifically targeted to play on German style rotary valve uh, F tubas. So more to come on that. That ties nicely into the second model that uh, Dylan's going to be releasing at the Army Show, which is the Olka B1, and it's a mouthpiece that Steve's been on me for a number of years to get off my butt and design, and I finally have. It's my preferred rim, cups, uh, cup shape, throat and back bore, and it's a copy of a mouthpiece that was a one-off that I've been playing in some, some form for about the last 20 years on all of my uh, bass tubas. Uh, this, I'm not gonna lie to you, it definitely shines on the piston, uh, piston side of things as far as piston bass tubas. It works very well in the Yamaha uh, 822s. It's a home run on the Mirafone Petrushkas and works pretty darn well on the larger piston Fs coming from Minel Weston. Surprisingly, it also works very well in the large Besson E-flat piston valve tubas. So if you play a piston F tuba or a piston E-flat tuba, you might want to uh, consider giving this a toot while you're at the show because I think you'll like it. Um, the final model is not really a new one so much as it is a re-release that people have been asking for for a number of years. You may remember a couple of years ago I designed the very first tuba mouthpiece uh, in collaboration with Dill Music, and it was released as the CB1. Uh, we made a limited number of them, and they immediately got snapped up and became collector's items. They're a very popular mouthpiece, but a very uh, kind of very task specific mouthpiece, very much aimed towards orchestral tuba playing on the contrabass tuba. When we were uh, deciding to re-release this, I took the opportunity to do some improvements in the throat and back bore to balance it out a little bit more, make it a little bit easier to play, a little bit more responsible while keeping that the really nice, hefty orchestral sound that I was going for on the contrabass tuba. So we have re-released the Olka CB1. Again, it's uh, slightly different. I think it's improved. If you liked the old CB1, I think you're going to like this more. Uh, and it is, again, in the Dylan uh, Music Tuba mouthpiece blank that I designed. And again, I think it's a, a great combination. So be sure to check that out. All three of these mouthpieces will come with either the larger uh, European shank or the smaller American shank. Um, it should be pointed out that both of these mouthpieces, uh, both the, the Roylant CB1 and the Olka CB1, uh, were designed to be uh, especially effective on the large six-quarter piston valve C kind of York style tuba. Um, that's because that's what Mike and I play in our respective orchestras. Mike plays on inertial, uh, on two inertials that he's got, and I have two uh, Yama Yorks that I use in Cincinnati Symphony. 
this is this is important because at this year's show, there's a new there's a company that's coming out with a new tuba, the Eastman uh, six quarter piston C that Dylan Music's going to have at their booth, and that tuba. I, I've played. I've played that. You, you've seen the reviews. I think that that tuba is a fantastic tuba, and it's affordable. Which I think there's going to be a lot of buzz. I think people are going to uh, walk away from the show thinking that that is definitely one of the highlights of the show. So if you happen to be at the Dylan Music booth and you're trying that large six-quarter uh, Eastman York tuba or any of the other York tubas that are no doubt going to be at the show, and you're looking for a mouthpiece that works very well. Either of these, both the CB1 uh, Roy Lance and the Olka CB1, I think you should give them a try. Uh, if you don't like one, chances are you'll like the other. Uh, give them a shot, see what you think. And finally, uh, I wish I could be at the Army Band Conference. I'm working this week, so I can't, but I'm, I'm sure there's going to be fantastic playing. Uh, if you are at the Dillon Music booth, please uh, say hello to Matt Walters and thank Steve Dillon for his believing in us, uh, both Mike and I, in our designs enough to put the Dylan Music name on these mouthpieces and bring them to market. Without his help, these mouthpieces would not have seen the light of day. So thanks to everybody. Enjoy the show and take care.